Hi everybody, Christina Stewart here with Christina Stewart Photography. Welcome to another edition of Photo Tips Tuesday. So glad you're here, yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with my student, Sandy Wilson, and we are at, say hi Sandy. Hi Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> hi! We are at the manifesting event with Tasha Chen, and we have had so much fun. Just an amazing weekend. I'm actually kind of tired right now, but <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. We're gonna shoot some more tomorrow. It's a half day tomorrow. And Sandy came with me to the Women's Prosperity Networks Unconference back in October. I asked her to assist me there just for experience. She has, mm -hmm. was planning on photographing a wedding for a family friend and had hired me. We've been working together for months and the event was a really good practice for her. So I brought her, yes, she was gonna help me out with a couple clients and headshots and get some information for me. But as far as shooting it, I used it as just like a, five day, it was this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, my four day and evening practice for shooting an event. There was no pressure on her to get the pictures. I didn't care if we got pictures that were usable or not. So there, she didn't have any pressure on her. All I was hoping for was for her to have a good time and I wanted to introduce her to this great community of, that I have surrounded myself with in every event that I shoot. I've made it a purpose and point of mind to surround myself with really good, happy, healthy people who are making a positive impact on the world. And they're doing that through helping them with their businesses, you know, helping entrepreneurs, uh, spiritually, financially, business-wise, every way you can. So I really just wanted to get her in that positive, fun environment, plus give her the experience of shooting something that she wouldn't have the opportunity to on her own. So that's what I love to do is help people, one, push them way out of their comfort zone. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> that's fun for me, not so fun for my students all the time. They thank me for it later, they don't usually thank me for it in the middle. So this is our second event that Sandy's come with me to. And in between, you've done a few of your own events, right? Yes. Birthday parties Absolutely. and a few things, the wedding yeah. and I didn't go to. So tell me a little bit about the difference between, you know, the big event we did in October and this one and the ones in between. What, is, what has shifted and changed for you? Probably the biggest shift for me has been um, the increase in my self-confidence. Um, I love the fact that Christina gave me that opportunity to go to the WPN conference um, with hundreds and hundreds, it seemed like, of, of women. Mm -hmm. There are about 400 um, people there, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so, um, but I was so afraid of making a mistake. I was so afraid, um, that lack of confidence. Um, when I came into this event... Um, so much so that she could not sleep the night before, or a few nights yep, before, yep, before, right? right. She was so nervous, she, she was like, just so, and we had, we slept in the same bed the night before. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, anyway, go ahead. You just couldn't sleep. That's not, yeah, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> she was anyway, so nervous. Yeah. Um, but anyways, um, in between that, I had an opportunity to uh, do my brother's birthday party. And, um, and I went in with, okay, I'm just going to give it a shot. I'm going to do the best that I can. And... And I guess probably one of the biggest steps is that um, when I showed up here today um, or yesterday, it wasn't that I was coming in for approval. I was coming in to improve more. Mm -hmm. And with the guidance of Christina, I have, I have the confidence. I know I have improved. My pictures are much better. I take my time. I think. I pause. Um, I don't have what she calls FOMO, fear of missing out. You know, so I'm like bam, bam, bam without looking at my settings or um, the things, you know, sticking out of people's heads and things like that. But um, this event, not only have I been able to photograph people, um, but I've been able to sit back and wait and wait for those special moments, those special expressions um, and my comfort and the amount that I have gotten back from this incredible event this weekend um, to grow um, spiritually for myself um, is amazing. And I wouldn't have gotten any of it had Christina not taken the opportunity to teach me. So that's well, what you I asked have. me to. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So take the opportunity. Yes. And so what has it been, what's your biggest lesson that you've learned? So confidence, gaining confidence, what is it photographically? So the FOMO, let's talk a little bit more about that. Uh. Part of it was, and I, I did the same thing when I was a newbie photographer, 
where one of my editors at the Gainesville, not Gainesville Sun, I hadn't started there yet, um, The Alligator, the student run paper in, at the University of Florida, one of my editors said, and it was filmed back then, <laughs> said, you've shot four or five different things and different places on one roll of film. You know, you, you go to the courtyard and you shoot a couple pictures and then you're off to something else. And then you'd go to by the stadium and there'd be three or four pictures and then you'd go somewhere else. So I had that same feeling of, oh, there's not anything happening here right now. There must be something happening somewhere else that's better. So I would, you know, just shoot a couple and, I, and I'd run. And so what she did, one of the examples that her, when she went and photographed the wedding was, it was a backyard wedding, somebody's house, beautiful little location. She'd go into the kitchen and shot what one picture Picture. of the guys in the kitchen and it wasn't a very good one (laughs) and then she the next picture she didn't even take two or three she just took one and then the next one was in the living room and the settings were different and so i could tell that she just felt that she was afraid that something better was happening somewhere else Mm -hmm. so part of what why she's more confident now is not only that she's been practicing she's been shooting more she's been doing it she's been listening to my advice She's pausing. I said, just wait, go to a situation that has potential. When you first get there, there may not be anything happening. The people might not be laughing. They might not be having a very good conversation at an event, for example. But if you just sit and wait and watch, take a, you know, kind of a survey of the room, see who's laughing, go to that group. You know, and, and if you're in a room, there's only three people, then just hang out and wait and see how they interact and how they talk. Maybe somebody else comes into the room who is the comedian of the group and they all end up cracking up. Mm -hmm. So you find a situation, even if it's not at events, you find a place that has the potential to make a really nice picture. And for me, it's about people. (laughs) So I would go to a location. I love graphic elements in pictures. So I would, after my editor told me this, I actually went to the library at UF and there was a cool stairway that you could see all the levels down, like five levels down. At the very bottom was a copy machine, but you couldn't really see the copy machine, but where the person had to stand, you could see. So I stood there probably in half hour, 45 minutes, <laughs> waiting for someone to walk in. The, and somebody would walk into the picture and I'd shoot it and I'd wait a little bit more. Oh, okay, there could be something better. And I ended up, I still remember the picture because this was such an important moment in my photography skills and abilities to wait for the picture to happen. Mm-hmm. Have that patience. And I should probably shot a whole roll there at least. And I ended up with three people on three different levels one at the very bottom. So your eye was drawn all the way down with people. It made it a much better picture than just straight stairway, which was very cool too, because it was, you know, um, multiple stairs with a center point. But I still remember the picture because it was the moment that I totally shifted my perspective in photography. So take a deep breath, right? (laughs) <laughs> survey the room if you're at an event survey the location if you're sent somewhere to go shoot walk around observe all the people see who's doing what before you even take your first picture get your settings get your bearings take notice look at the graphic elements see where the light is check out the light find out what could make the best picture or who could make the best picture if it's a really boring location like you know the a banquet hall at a hotel is not usually very pretty so how can you make it interesting it's the people who are there who are going to make it interesting for you so i think the moral of this lesson <laughs> take your time right pause breathe practice by doing these events you're going to build your confidence what else could you what else do you advise oh. Just don't quit. Just keep mm-hmm. on going. That's that's the biggest thing, you know, because I was ready to just say, oh, I will never be good enough. And I just kept on trying. So, you know, um, that's it. That's that's what awesome. I'm thinking. You know, you only you only fail when you quit trying. Good. There yes. Go. And for so. me, it's go have fun. That's right. Have <laughs> Always fun. about having fun. And we're having fun. We are so having this fun. This is good. Yes. So, Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you guys all for joining us. I appreciate you. Now go see the lights. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.